And I, I, over, the, over a period of years, I had to learn that. But it, the problem was that at that time, I was just possessed with it. And I went too hard and too fast. And never forget the uh, New York Film Festival has always been great to me. Uh, when we submitted Who's That Knocking, they wrote back a note saying, you're living aesthetically beyond your means. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you really had a lot to learn about life and people. I, 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 I was burning, but I didn't have. And so out of that, and also the incredible knowledge I learned from Corman, and that Corman was another university. Combining that with what I couldn't get on film, and who's that knocking? What I really, I mean, yeah, what I wanted to say, and this, uh, what was really, um, what was really eating away at me, my my, my life, and my my uh, my memories, and my emotional makeup, which I had to do more with my family, and my father, and his family, as his brothers. Uh, was uh, was eventually to find its way into Mean Streets, and it was also about myself and my old friends. Of a covering a period from 60 to 63, when I was sort of split between NYU and reading Henry James and, and hanging out in after hour clubs in the weekend. Yeah. You know. How long did it take you to write it? Uh, six years, on and off. My friend Mark Martin helped me a lot. He was an NYU student, and uh, he would help work on the structure and that sort of thing. Did you write